Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to quickly cover the use of structures in our code in TIA to make the programming better, simpler and quicker. Uh, but why would we need structures and what am I even talking about? Let's imagine a scenario where we have a function that we use to control a motor. So we call it a motor control function. Uh, in our scenario, we have a push button station with five push buttons, a stop, three different predefined speeds and reverse. So we would have speed zero. This would be maybe our stop speed. Um, no, let's call it stop stop. I can't even spell stop speed one speed two speed three and speed reverse. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five different inputs. And what we'd be doing is we'll be saying if stop, then we'll be moving zero to an output that is um, tied to our motor. So we'll call this one motor. It's going to be an integer. Now it might be an input of an analog input of your drive that's driving the motor we're sending it zero to 10 volts and if it's zero it just switches off okay so we send zero to stop the motor and uh, then we will send another command so if we say speed one it's going to be uh, going in, in slow mode maybe 300 rpm um, what we need to do here, if we wanted to go from RPM directly to volts, we'd need to convert, we need to scale um, an analog signal. So this wouldn't be 300, uh, it would be probably more something like, like 1300, you know, to, to be uh, a slow speed, maybe slightly more, um, maybe 200. Yeah, something like this would result in 10% of our speed. If you want to learn more about it, I made a video of scaling of analog inputs and outputs. So just uh, check out this one and it will explain a lot. So this would be our slow speed. Then we will have something like a medium speed, maybe uh, around 50%. So speed two. And then the fast speed, which will be full speed, 100%. And again, if you don't know why 27648, please do check my, my other video. It will make it uh, crystal clear. The last thing we need is maybe a reverse. Let's say the reverse is a slow speed like this, uh, but with, with a minus. Okay. Mm. This actually, yeah, it wouldn't work like this. We would normally probably send a reverse signal, but that's fine. Let's assume it does. The problem here, as you can see, is we already have one, two, three, four, five different inputs. Now, this is for controlling a single motor. But if I wanted to maybe make a function that's encapsulating it, so motors control, in which I have multiple of these code, let's say I have 10 motors on site. Yeah, okay, 10 is too much. I have four motors on site. I would already have to interconnect five times four, so 20 different variables from my input. Uh, and this is where it stops being manageable. And this is a very basic situation where I only have five different variables per block. So this is why we need structures. We need a way to just quickly send an entire vi variable and not worry about it. So there are two ways of doing this. We can either use structures or so struct, or we can use uh, UDTs, so user defined types. Uh, I would say user defined types are better, but I would show you how it works with a structure. If you wanted to have a structure for speed, we'll just say speed, say struct, and then we can move, uh, should work, all these here. And the result is we only have this struct speed uh, that we are passing. So if I go back to my block, if I update the block call, rather than having five different inputs, it only has one input of speed. And then if I have um, a constant here, for example, constant speed, that's a structure. Oh, sorry, it can't be a struct here. Um, I don't think it can be a struct here, but it can, okay. Uh, a structure, um, a structure that has what was it? 
it has stop o it has speed 1 speed 2 speed 3 speed r yeah i can then just connect this entire structure here do you see what the problem was the structures are defined in place which means you know if i want to have a structure here i need to define it again if i would want them to have a structure in maybe a high level block i would need to define it once more this is where we get to udts okay so if we go and try a udt rather than structure we'd create ourselves a, a, a user defined data type we would call this one speed uh, wrong button speed in here we would have stop speed one speed two speed three speed reverse and this can be used across your entire project so this is like a function but for your 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 tags so as i said it could be across entire project if we go to motor control you could replace this speed with this guy yeah and again you know oh didn't really did it speed yeah there you go so again we have one thing it looks very much like a structure but the big big difference is that this is reusable across your project so if i define it as as speeds here and if i change it i should actually do this so i need to uh, modify my block okay speed one speed two speed three speed reverse if i go to the higher level block again update block call this still works because like the entire structure is the same but if i didn't have this it means that i'm mm, not here it means that i can just have this so i don't need to define it again i can just drag and drop it okay so for mo my motor control one i just have this guy i can update block call and again i can have the speed for the second drive and i can have then the speed for um for my third drive and i don't need to keep redefining all these things it just makes my life easier and again you know we can have edts encapsulated in udts so if i had a high level block that takes multiple of these uh, i could make a udt that has a few udts inside so you can start encapsulating and encapsulating the encapsulation in it and uh, but all this is to help you manage things in one place because if i now want to change i change my idea and i no longer have only three speeds maybe i now have four speeds i would only go here add myself a new row and say speed four yeah so this makes it much much easier i would of course need to uh, readjust i would need to uh, readjust my function so my motor control function would now have four speeds but i'm only handling three speeds so if i wanted to do it again i would insert a new network and handle speed four to be something different but it means that i only have single places that i need to worry about rather than now having to go into struct in every single block that i have and modifying it manually so i make a change here in speeds and it is propagated throughout my code you can also use udts in your tag tables so if i have a new tag table um that's called motors in this tag table if i wasn't using udt again i would have some inputs for my different speeds from a push button station or push button stations so i maybe would have push button station one speed uh, sorry stop push button station one speed zero speed one what do we have speed two speed three yeah pb1 speed reverse and then i would have another push button station maybe for the second motor and it just gets longer and longer and, and, and means more work for me and I, I just don't need 
uh, I just don't like you know doing things all in, all over again because it feels like a waste of my time. So rather than doing this, I would just go yeah push button station one speeds, and what is the type? The type is is speeds. And as you can see, it maps it nicely for me. Starts with I00, spans however uh, many addresses it needs to, to uh, span. And I can have multiple of these for my different stations. And I don't worry about things. And again, you know, if I change it, it will get propagated here. So this was a short video just showing you how to use UDTs and how powerful they are in terms of propagating throughout your entire program, throughout your entire code. Again, it should all work. Yeah, there you go. Um, if you have any questions on UDTs, on structures, why you would use one or the other, or, or maybe how to use UDTs in some uh, interesting way, you know, just, just, just let me know and I'll try to help. And if you have any other questions or any other topics that you'd like me to cover in terms of uh, TIA, uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks and bye.